Welcome, everybody. And thank you so much for coming. And now we're just going to do as we always do, take this wonderful time to just open our hearts and send love and gratitude out. Let's take some slow, deep breaths to get into that peaceful, receptive state. So we breathe in slowly and deeply. We hold our breath. We breathe out, then we hold our breath. Let's do that for a few more breaths. Now let's listen for our heartbeat, our heartbeat which is a pulse of light coming down through the silver cord from our mighty iron presence anchoring in our heart, giving us life. Let's just see and feel and bless that heartbeat. That heartbeat that anchors into that beautiful 3-4 flame which is the anchorage of our mighty I am presence within our physical bodies. Let's just connect with that beautiful flame as we sit in that expanded golden flame in the center, golden yellow flame of wisdom and illumination, perception and discrimination. We see our bodies in this beautiful dazzling golden flame to the right, we can see the pink flame, that glorious, dazzling pink flame of pure divine love. And then we see to the left of us that beautiful expanded flame, that sapphire blue, bringing into us the feeling of the will, the power, the faith and the protection from our mighty I Am Presence. See and feel and bless this glorious light. Let's take our awareness now up through the top of our head, through the silver cord, to our mighty beloved I Am Presence. Let's see this glorious, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving Presence smiling down on us. Our wonderful presence of God, I am. And now we see in the center of our chest a beautiful golden sun forming. Dazzling and brilliant like the noonday sun. The beautiful focus of light from our I am presence. Open our hearts and send love and gratitude to our mighty I Am Presence for beating our heart and giving us life. And now we see those rays from our beautiful sun in the center of our chest, dazzling and brilliant, billions and billions of rays, going forth and connecting up with each and every miniature sun in all the cells of our bodies, our four earthly bodies, all those little inner workers receiving this expanded light. Let's feel the joy, the happiness and the gratitude of each and every little inner worker of our four earthly bodies. Sense and see and feel that wonderful light saturating our earthly bodies. And now let's just fill our feelings with a feeling of love and gratitude. And let's call to the beloved Ascended Masters, the beloved Ascended Master David Lloyd, the great God of gratitude, to fill us, each one and all mankind, with this feeling, that light substance, from the Ascended Master realm of gratitude and love. 
we see our beautiful sun is turning a deep shade of pink with a golden radiance. Gratitude and love for all our many, many blessings. Gratitude and love to the great ascended hosts for these marvelous teachings. Gratitude and love for all our loved ones and our friends. Gratitude and love for our homes and our supply. Gratitude and love for all the many, many blessings that we receive daily on our earthly journeys. Gratitude to the great and beloved elemental kingdom, animate and so-called inanimate, the beauty and bounty of nature. God bless, love and thank them, each and every precious one. Gratitude to the beloved angels, and gratitude to all life on our beloved earth. And now we see these rays in this wonderful expanded state, forming a lattice of light, dazzling and brilliant. We see our entire earth folded in this glorious pink and golden light, saturating every part of life on our beloved earth, especially those parts of life that are never loved or thanked this wonderful gift, our opportunity of sending love, light and gratitude to all life. And we just give deep, deep thanks for this. Oh, lovely. So, um, beloved Jenny Kling, are you available to read, beloved? Yes, I am. Thank you, Anne. Thank Opening you. Opening invocation. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Shall no. I start? Yeah, please. <laughs> okay. Opening invocation. Before reading the words of a master, we say together, as suggested by beloved Lord Kuthumi. Beloved presence of God I am, it is thy life and intelligence that enables me to read and comprehend and absorb that which is required of me. For life, I am so grateful. Beloved Master Kathumi, I ask for your feeling and your capacity to use this instruction for God's glory and mankind's comfort. We thank you. And in our great I am presence, take me within thyself. There instruct me and cause me to retain the full memory of these inner instructions. Thank you. From Beloved Saint Germain. Lovely. Thank you so much, Beloved Jen. All right. So this week we've got to be back with the Great Divine Director, which is lovely. And Beloved Gary's recorded us, uh, recorded it for us and just pearls of wisdom, honestly. And then we've got the great surrender to the Christ within by beloved Lord Betrayer with a visualization. We have done it before, but it was quite a while ago. So I just thought it would be nice to do it again. And Terry actually reminded me when I was actually with her about it. Anyway, so, and then Terry is going to read the rec with the last of the recreation of the earth as freedom star. Oh, whoops, it's not recorded this week. Sorry, I forgot to take that out. But anyway, it is just wonderful. It's just such wonderful words. And then I'm going to read from Beloved Lady Astria, and then Beloved John will take us through our decrees, which we know is such an important part of the whole session. So we're we just going to listen to this from the great divine director. Thanks to Gary. Week 224 from the I Am Discourses, Volume 8, Discourse 13. The Great Divine Director speaks. Beloved ones, remember, you have three faculties within your being, each one of which is all-powerful. Your attention, your visualization, which comes from your physical eyesight, and your power of qualification. That which is invisible to you is the thing which plays the greatest havoc in your world, and it is your power of qualification 
because everything which comes into your world must come through you into your world of activity. If your feeling is discordant, then it will carry whatever that discord is into your world and produce of its kind. These are the things which mankind has not understood, and the people have gone on and on and on, feeding discord through their feeling. All the time, their discord was being carried through this mighty current of energy out into their worlds, producing discord, chaos, limitation, and failure. I tell you, dear ones, no one on the face of this earth who once becomes aware of the I Am Presence which beats each heart, who will give its sincere, earnest attention and call its power into action, will ever find himself or herself in need of anything. Individuals will have omnipresence in their worlds for use, everything their hearts desire, and there is no exception to it. The feeling world of mankind must be kept harmonious, so it is no longer close with discord. This energy which flows from the presence and goes out into the world, the powerful energy will go out into the world and produce harmony and perfection everywhere. Then everyone who touches your world will have the use of everything which it is required. The human limitation with mankind has made the people feel, because they have forgotten the I Am Presence, that all is here within the human form and its authority is in the intellect. The people have felt it is what the individual sees out here, from which they must gather their power of achievement. Behold in the chart, when so-called death ensues, observe the form which the act was active a moment before. It no longer has power, intelligence, nor action. Then what has happened? Where was that energy? Where was that activity? Where was that power by which the human form acted a few moments before? Within the stream of energy which comes from the heart of God, your I am presence. Remember, dear hearts, that the stream of light and energy is not just a principle, but it holds within it the intelligence, the power, the action, which every human being is using and requires in order to have action. Then knowing that, how can any human being in the outer world claim power onto its intellect of itself? It has been a mistake for all mankind through intellectual attainment in all outer activities of life, law, medicine, music, where the individual through practice and application of the outer has attained a certain degree of mastery it has claimed the power in those particular streams of activity according to the understanding at the time. While their attention was on the outer things and the desire was acting, it was the power, intelligence, activity of the presence which gave them whatever achievement they had. When the people understand this and know everything comes from the I Am Presence which, is, which gives them life, they will place the power where it belongs they will be enabled to draw this power forth in a tremendously greater volume and sweep out of their worlds every limiting discordant thing which ever has been drawn there even though the individual physically were responsible for it. Wonderful. That's just it, isn't it? Just so amazing. I just love the great divine director and the way he explains things. Just so marvelous. Now we're going to listen to this video. This is from The Bridge to Spiritual Freedom from December 1993 and it was given at the Shambhala headquarters from beloved Lord Maitreya and he says, Beloved of my heart, you are teachers, you are guardians of the flame of love, for who else would desire to be a teacher? In order to be a proficient teacher, you must first learn the lessons yourself. This is done by placing your all at the feet of the inner light. Step through the gateway and enter into the holy flame of love within your heart. 
There, offer your substance and your knowledge to the Christ, and you shall receive the understanding of how it must be used. As you listen with your heart, you will hear the voice of your inner Christ say to you, My beloved of the ages, I am so grateful that you have at last heard my voice. It is a joy to have you in my holy chamber. Enter and stay for as long as you wish, for, in reality, this chamber is your own. As you put aside the old and open your mind to new ideas, testing them to the best of your ability, know that I am with you. I have always loved you and I always shall. As you release all fear, my beloved, you shall wear the crown of your mother and carry the scepter of your father and remain in this sacred place for all eternity. Beloved Chilas, listen to the teachings of your inner Christ, for they are given out of pure divine love. Love your Christ self in return, for through it you will be able to love the Christ in others. This is the true meaning of the Christ calling out to its own. All others are stirred from their spiritual sleep by this call of love, the call, generated by your love for the Christ within your own heart, becomes the first cause of the awakening of many of your brothers and sisters in the human family. They will answer by being drawn to you for teaching. When you teach the seekers of truth, remember what beloved Kathumi has said. On the way to mastery, everyone comes to a place on the path where he no longer looks for the teacher without but he begins to turn to the still, small voice that is within. He then begins to rely solely on intuition. Next, upon contact with the presence, which precedes self-conscious mastery and divine freedom from all human concepts and all human form. Therein lies the key of how to teach. Always remember that you are acting merely as a bridge between the outer personality and the inner Christ. Once a person contacts the Christ who dwells within, he has begun to build his own bridge of consciousness. When this takes place, the teacher steps aside in gratitude and supports his brother by holding the divine concept on his behalf, knowing that his own determination will set him free. Because you must first accomplish this for yourself, I offer you an exercise that will help to achieve this goal. Sit quietly and center yourself in your threefold flame. Place your undivided attention upon it. Now step into the heart of the sacred flame. Remaining in this state of consciousness, you begin to see only through the eyes of the Christ. You feel the divine emotions of the Christ. When this is established, gently and slowly begin to draw your consciousness upward to the third eye chakra. Feeling the expansion of your threefold flame as you do so. Realize this as the only Christ self grown to full stature. For you are at one with the love nature of the Christ in your heart and you are unifying it with the divine mind of God. The success of this exercise depends upon the willingness to become one in consciousness with your divine teacher. This exercise not only bridges the outer consciousness with the inner light, but it draws you closer to your God Presence, the Great I Am Presence, and raises the planetary vibration as well. Dear ones, the path toward ascension is no longer a lonely path. When we walked upon the earth, it was often necessary to seclude ourselves in order to achieve our spiritual objectives. However, you know that after we secured our goals, we returned to bless the masses with our divine heritage. We never forced any part of life to accept our teachings. We blessed the masses through our radiation, stirring within their beings the truth of their own divine reality. This is the way that you, our chilas, must now begin to teach. 
the consciousness of humankind has evolved to such a degree that the Christ within can now teach the individual. The master each one seeks is set free in the heart flame of every person on the earth. Dear ones, I tell you now, seek no more. You have found the master's abode. You are teachers of truth. Move forward with your divine plan. Command it, affirm, I am the resurrection and the life of the perfection of my divine plan manifest in the world of form, right here, right now, and forever sustained. The sanctuary within your heart is a beautiful retreat. It shall manifest in the physical world as a radiant sun, so that whoever sees it will face his own inner light and say, O oh, brilliant star of my true being, I shall follow thee now and forever. I am free. Call upon my beloved world teachers, and they will help you to teach the truth that shall set this sacred planet free for all eternity. Rest now within the embrace of my love, Maitreya. Just such marvelous words, beloved Lord Matreya. All right, so beloved Terry's going to read now, and I actually put it on the um, on the slides, Terry. So thank you so much, beloved. I'm going to just change the slide here. Thank you. It was a wonderful video. The recreation of the Earth's. Earth as Freedom Star, the Masters of Wisdom speak, and this is continued from last week and um, finished here. Beloved Lord Hilarion says, The law controlling the vibratory action of energy is a science, not an ephemeral fantasy. The speed with which energy moves and the quality with which such energy is charged by self-conscious intelligences is determined by the free will use of all self-conscious beings. Elemental life or energy is obedient to the commands, conscious or unconscious, of every intelligence which can think, feel, or use the word of creation, I am. And God said, let there be light or energy, and there was light, Genesis 1-3. And God said, let them have dominion over all the earth and all upon it. Genesis 1.26 In the mercy of God, he directed this energy, this light, life, to obey the self-conscious intelligences who were his children. Thus has energy, or light, and life always been the servant of man, quickly molding itself into the patterns and forms created in the mind, energized by the feelings, and expressed in spoken word and action. Because of this obedience upon the part of the malleable nature of life, man has created hell on earth, as well as the invisible spheres beyond the veil called death, often referred to as the psychic or astral plane. It is also within man's compass and ability to raise the vibratory action of primal life to its natural harmony of expression through this very dominion over energy. This raising of the vibratory action of every cell and atom of the earth and its attendant evolutions through self-control of their creative centers will result in the redemption of the earth and the establishment of our august brother, St. Germain's permanent golden age upon this planet. Start where you are. Know that life is absolutely obedient to your thoughts, feelings, spoken words, and actions. Give thanks to God who made you and who has sustained you for this opportunity of being an active part of such redemption of the earth so lovingly prepared in the beginning and so beautifully given to the spirit sparks who, under the supervision of their Manu, chose to embody upon earth's surface. Even one harmonious controlled life stream can do so much to assist in this redemption. Remember, not will but love 
will help you to raise the vibrations of your own inner and physical vehicles, as well as the worlds of those with whom you are associated. This raising of the vibrations of the few will act as the leaven in the loaf and through contagion enter into the outer consciousness of the many. Spiritual endeavors are so often relegated to the visionaries and the impractical men of the times. This is wholly wrong. The practical man, knowing that the redemption of the earth will be accomplished by a scientific working knowledge of the action and reaction of energy, directed by self-conscious, self-conscious intelligences, will be the true redeemer of the planet and its attendant evolutions. The cosmic law has issued the fiat, the earth shall give forth more light. Where shall that light come from? The auras of mankind. Think about it. Beloved Jesus speaks. In the short prayer, which has been repeated by my devoted followers through the ages, I spoke the words, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is the divine plan, that the kingdom of God be established again right here on earth in the physical appearance world. The kingdom of heaven, which is within you, of which I spoke, is the holy Christ flame within your hearts, by which you can, as I did, and as others did before me, help to externalize that kingdom here and now. It is not sufficient to live a harmless life allowing your planet and its evolutions to suffer discord, limitation, decay, and ignominious death. It is essential for you to use your powers while yet in a physical body, as I did, not only to establish the manifest example of the Christ man through yourself, but to help all men to achieve a like accomplishment. I said also, Hitherto the Father worketh, now the Father and I work. While there is a soul in bondage, an angel imprisoned, an elemental confined to a distorted form, that work is not completely done. While the earth groans as she turns on her bended axis and cries of misery and pain, rise to the throne of the Eternal for help. That kingdom of heaven is not established on this earth, and my disciples would do well to consider this, rather than desiring only a personal redemption, which, while commendable and wholly desirable from the personal standpoint, is not the fulfillment of the Father's will for all his creations. A redemption of the earth, a purification of its atmosphere— A freedom for all the life streams belonging to its evolutions is the establishment of the kingdom of heaven on earth, which will not pass away. This can come about only through the cooperation of unascended life streams with the divine beings who see the divine plan for the earth and who serve unceasingly to re-establish the beauty and perfection for the earth as well as its present and future inhabitants. My beloved brothers have explained the many ways you can assist in establishing this kingdom now. Grace, humility, selflessness, and most of all, pure divine love, all of these can be cultivated by the people of earth. These virtues are redemptive in nature. If you are not seemingly in possession of these virtues, I can assure you that the Holy Christ flame within your heart holds them all, awaiting your invitation to allow them to externalize through you for the benefaction of all life. I can further assure you that those of us who are in possession of these virtues can and will give you the full gathered momentum of our feelings until you can develop them yourselves. Whenever you hear or recite the Lord's Prayer, Remember my statement, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
This is a fiat issued by my humble self centuries ago. Now it is issued by the cosmic law to all recalcitrant members of the race who have used the earth as a playground rather than a schoolroom, as the Father intended it to be used. O oh, sweet earth, we who have seen you as you were before the contamination of your substance and atmosphere have not forgotten you. We have forsworn nirvana to recreate your perfection in the solar system. To do this, we must have the cooperation of the people presently using your gifts so lavishly and so unconcernedly accepting your blessings. To this end, we work. Pray God that mankind soon awaken to their own responsibility and work with us. Beloved St. Germain says, Making of the planet Earth, Freedom Star, is the privilege accorded me by Helios and Vesta. Angels, men, and elementals shall again walk hand in hand, serving in the redemption of the Earth. To those who are interested in helping me, I am so grateful. I have offered the conscious use of the violet fire of mercy and compassion to such life streams to help them in their voluntary and self-appointed task. I urge each and every one of them to use it. The veil of Maya grows thinner by the hour. Persevere for the sake of the earth itself, for my sake, for the sake of your fellow travelers upon life's path, as well as for the sake of those who are yet to embody and enjoy the fruits of your labors. You shall not be sorry for the energies thus expended, and you shall not say with remorse, it might have been. You have offered to help me. I have accepted your offer. One day this earth shall be a shining planet. The ring pass not a flame around the earth, which has mercifully confined the dissonance of this planet with certain bounds with certain bonds, shall be no more, for it shall not be needed. The music of the spheres shall be enriched by the song of Freedom Star. Then the sons and daughters of freedom will enjoy the kingdom of heaven upon this earth. I decree it. Oh, thank you so much, Terry. Really stirring, stirring words. Wow. Anyway, we're just so blessed to have this knowledge and how we can assist all of us. So this is actually from Beloved Jesus, and it's from the Ascended Master's Right, the Book of Life. And he says, I had been told, and truly, that at the time of my ascension, it would be a simple matter through the activity of the holy breath flowing constantly through my garments for me to release my expanded consciousness until it encompassed the entire planet. At the time this was accomplished, every part of life abide, abiding upon the earth experienced a pulsating uplift of spirit. For that which raises the vibratory action of one part of life raises all. Since, since it was my privilege to make a public ascension, can you not realize that this was done in order that the mankind of this earth could see with their physical sight that the transition from the earth plane could be accomplished not only by one who had worn a garment of flesh, but by all who walk the, walk the earth. This process of the ascension in the light was the means by which all men were intended to graduate to the heavenly realms of a higher spiral. The ascension in the light will be a natural activity of one's evolution in the, coming, in the incoming golden age, for it was practiced by many in previous ages of perfection. At the time of the downfall of man into the deceptive lower or human consciousness, that state of degradation spread like a wildfire throughout the earth, even as dread diseases ravaged the vehicles of some individuals in embodiment at the present time. I just give this to you as a simile of the rapidity with which contagion takes place until through some formula of the medical profession, this proliferation is stemmed. I admonish you, beloved ones, to think seriously and remind your consciousness when it descends below the level of the Christ consciousness 
that you have a God formula always at your disposal. And that is the power of the attention, coupled with the purifying power of the sacred fire. You can, through your attention, remedy any imperfection the very instant that it presents itself upon the doorstep of your consciousness. And that was exactly what the great divine director was also telling us at the, at the beginning there. It's just so important, our attention, where it is. All right, so now we have this opportunity as we do every week, and really it is so important to clear out our psychic and astral realms and call for our brothers and sisters to be taken into those temples of light. So let's just put all our energy and feeling of the victorious accomplishment already happening. So we say together, beloved presence of God, I am in me, and beloved immortal threefold flame of eternal truth within my heart, and beloved Saint Germain. While my body sleeps this night, let all the constructive energy of my entire life stream, including that in my causal body, be used to render whatever service is needed in the violet flame temples established in the psychic and astral realms to draw the full gathered cosmic momentum of the violet purifying flame of divine love and compassion through every discarnate life stream there. Let all the souls who dwell in those realms be drawn into those purifying temples of mercy and compassion, and there have the accumulated, destructively qualified energies of their life streams purified and transmuted, so that when they are summoned for re-embodiment by the lords of karma, they bring into incarnation only a heritage of perfection and carry in their life streams no miscreations that would add to their own or the world's distress. We accept this done now with full cosmic power, and so be it, beloved I am, and we thank you. Thank you. Oh, and this is just lovely, and I think it's from, it must be South Africa or Zimbabwe or close by, because it's definitely got a, um, kind of, a uh, African voice, but um, it's just this lovely friendship between this dog and this horse. I hope you enjoy it. Every day, our dog absolutely has to go greet our horse. She runs up to Athena as fast as she possibly can. Her tail wags like crazy and she almost has a smile on her face. Then she jumps up and showers her with thousands of kisses. Hello, everybody. I think that my, my internet is getting a bit weak. I don't know whether you can hear nicely this, this video, but I think, um, uh, I don't know whether, okay, can you hear it, John? It's become a bit broken up and a bit laggy, beloved, so I think. Um... I think maybe you should take over. Or maybe I'll skip skip this and just see Maybe how... skip the video. Let's see how they go, because the, the, the rest of it seems to come through okay. All right, let me just try the next bit. It's a shame, but anyway, I think I've got the plan. All right, you can you can hear me okay? All fine, yes. Yes. All right, okay. So anyway, we'll just say together our decree for our beloved animals, insects, and reptile kingdoms. So we say together, beloved I presence of all mankind, charge your mighty light of mercy and compassion 
to flow through us all and bring comfort to the animal, insect, and reptile kingdoms. May each human being remember and accept their responsibility as guardians and protectors of this planet's pure and innocent life. Until all is set free and their divine plans fulfilled, we so decree it and so be it in God's most holy name, I am. We accept it done and we thank you. Thank you. And now I'm going to read from Beloved Astria. It's just, just lovely. Let me just I'll also put it on the um, slide. So I hope the, you'll let me know if the sounds no good, huh, John. So we, um, it's, this is from the Bridge to Spiritual Freedom, the Friendship with the Gods, just wonderful from Beloved Lady Astria. So we know she's the goddess of purity, the divine complement of the mighty Elohim Claire, and their activities um, are directors of the legions of the circle of sordid blue flame. So she's constantly, bless her mighty heart, in that psychic and astral realm with Archangel Michael locking that cosmic circle and sword of blue flame to all the misqualified energy there. Goodness me, just such a blessing. Anyway, she says, beloved ones, I am so deeply grateful for this opportunity of speaking with you and of, ass and of assuring you that your calls to me and to the legions of the circle and sword of blue flame have swept away countless tons of effluvia from the planet Earth. I also wish to assure you that I that I am as close to your heart and ever await that summons to render service to any part of life, anywhere, be it on earth or in the realm of the disembodied. I now raise my hand and signal my legions to go into action in the accelerated purification of the earth and her evolutions. Feel that sword of light travel down your spinal column with the encircling rings of blue flame expanding to the periphery of your auras, purifying all your vehicles according to your acceptance. I entreat you to accept the service. It's a wonderful thing for us to actually call to beloved Lady Astrea and Archangel Michael to do for us. And then we just sit and feel it and visualize it. What a gift. She says, I'm standing above the earth sphere at this moment. And I now plunge a gigantic sword of blue flame into the earth. And my legion shall engage in a magnificent purification all through the 24 hours ensuing. Let's just ask and accept this, beloved Lady Asher, we thank you. Please assist us by remaining in a state of harmony. And any calls will be most deeply appreciated. Glorious is God's gift of purification and forgiveness to all life. And just thank you, thank you. It's lovely. We do call always for that circle and sword of blue flame in our morning decrees. All right, we're going to actually, I thought, to sing to Mighty Astra. So I hope this comes through nicely.
And really blessings to beloved Astria and Archangel Michael. Just thank them forever. And now beloved John's going to take over. Thank you, beloved John. Thank you, beloved. Uh, it's just it's such a beautiful song, beloved Astria. Now, after listening to all the inspirational readings, messages, and music, bringing us to a place of tranquility, peace, and calm, we are now ready to make our decrees as we give our love, our creative power, our wisdom and authority to you, our beloved I Am Presence. We say together, Mighty I Am Presence, great host of ascended masters, archangels and Elohim, cosmic beings and great cosmic light, come forth now in all your cosmic power. Withdraw and withhold all power from destructive forces and individuals with destructive intent throughout the world, right now and forever, whether it is conscious or unconscious. Expose, seize, bind and render helpless all these sinister forces and their activities until the light has removed them completely and illumine the source so this may never act again and raise up to positions of power the divinely chosen leaders. Replace all with ascended master consciousness and the divine plan fulfilled. We thank you. Our tube of light protection. Beloved mighty I am presence, beloved Archangel Michael and beloved Commander Conrad, continually intensify your protective pillar of pure light substance and Archangel Michael's armor of light through and around me charged with your invincible protection, all-powerful and impenetrable. I am invisible. I am invincible. I am invulnerable to anything but thy almighty perfection. I am grateful we are given whatever added protection is needed. What we ask for ourselves, we ask for our loved ones, and that which is constructive in all mankind and the world. We thank you. We just take a moment to see and visualize that mighty pillar of light, that brilliant blue and crystal light surrounding each and every one of us, nine feet around us, three feet each side of us, a thick wall at the edge, stronger than any steel. See now Archangel Michael's armor of light around us, forming an impenetrable pillar of protection around ourselves, this group, our families, friends, and around every constructive person across the face of the earth. All of those standing up for truth, justice, and freedom. God bless, direct, perfect, and protect each and every one. Thank you. Our violet fire decree. Mighty I am presence, beloved Saint Germain, and those that minister to the violet flame, come forth now and blaze your cosmic violet fire and cause a mighty victory for all the world to see. I am the law of forgiveness in cosmic action now. I am the victory of the sacred fire in all its cosmic power. Mighty angels descend with your purple ones of fire and strike them into the center of every place where there has been a history of sinister force activity. Transmute and consume it all. Cause, core, record, effect, and memory, and set it all free from that which was never meant to be. Replace it all with ascended master consciousness, the divine plan fulfilled, and light from the secret love star. We thank you.
decree for the elementals. I am the light of God that never fails, purifying, loving, thanking, and blessing the great directors of the elemental kingdom and every beloved earth, water, air, and fire elemental for your ceaseless service to me and to all mankind. I am the mighty cosmic light, awakening all mankind to the great intelligence of this kingdom and remove from elemental life today the necessity for longer obeying the destructive impulses of mankind. And so be it, beloved I am. We thank you. In the name of my mighty I am presence, great cosmic beings and great cosmic light, I decree, I am the presence charging the minds and feelings of everybody in America and the world with Saint Germain's ascended master consciousness and perfection right now and forever. I am the presence, blessing, illumining, perfecting, and setting all free in service to the light. Our decree for the purification of our beloved earth. In the name of my mighty I am presence, and by the power of the great host of ascended beings, we demand a cosmic living sword of blazing flame continually strike into all human miscreations back to the very beginning causing all negative energies and entities in the psychic and astral realms and in the consciousness of all mankind to cease to exist forever. Cause, core, effect, record, and memory, freeing all human and elemental life from that which was never meant to be and ensuring the psychic and astral realm is no more. Replace it all with the immaculate concept for all life Ascended Master Consciousness and Life Substance from the Secret Love Star. That thy will be done, and so be it, and so it is. Beloved I am, we thank you. Our decree for divine justice. I am the most intensified cosmic action of the flame of divine justice, blazing throughout the world right now and forever. I am the law, I am the justice, I am the judge, I am the jury, knowing that I am all-powerful, that I know that only divine justice can be done everywhere, here and now. Beloved Lady Portia, ensure divine justice prevails throughout the world, right now and forever. So be it, and so it is, and it is done. Beloved I am, we thank you. Now, before we say our final decree, by the love, power, and authority of our beloved mighty I am presence, we call to you, beloved mighty victory, to fill us with your full feeling of victorious accomplishment, that cosmic feeling of ascended master victory. I am the victory of the light. I am the victory of the light. I am the victory of the light. I am the cosmic flame of victory, which reigns supreme everywhere, right now and forever. We accept these calls answered as they are made, according to thy will, with full cosmic power, maintained and doubled each instant of each hour, until fully manifest. And so be it, and so it is, and it is done. Beloved I am, we thank you. Here is Sanat Kumara. We send all our love, our gratitude, our appreciation and thanks to you for this gift of that beautiful love star that you have placed in the aura of every unascended being, radiating your love and pouring its flaming substance into our world, guiding us and helping to maintain peace and serenity in our worlds. We place our attention on that beloved secret love star, that mighty focus of cosmic divine love from our great central sun, supreme light that can never be requalified by human thoughts or feelings. 
which is visualized, that light substance, those glorious pink and golden rays, saturating all life on our earth, clearing any and all imperfections or limitations, enfolding every man, woman, and child in the pillar of pure divine love, ever expanding those feelings of unconditional love, harmony, tranquility, gratitude, kindness, and tolerance, charity, respect, courtesy, grace, and goodwill. Those feelings of unity, one brotherhood, St. Germain's holy family. Beloved secret love star, make each of us a living son of pure divine love, radiating centers of pure, unconditional, unconditional divine love, so we may bless all those we interact with, every place we visit, and whomever we pass by. We send our deepest love and gratitude to the mighty beings who maintain and sustain this great focus of love. We are most grateful. And we give our deepest thanks for this and the opportunity of adding our own love and light to these goals. We thank you, beloved I am. Thank you, everybody. And blessings to all. Marvelous. Thank you, beloved John. It is such a gift to know about the secret love star in each one of our auras and also that focus of it to call it into action all the time because it can never be requalified. So brilliant. Thanks, John, beloved. Okay, now we're going to have the closing invocation and um, I just think you would like to do it. Beloved Jenna Smith, can you do the closing invo invocation, beloved? Jenna? Oh, don't see that there. Okay, well, well. Um, and Morel, are you there, beloved? Yes, beloved, I am here. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Anthea. Before ending the session, we all say, Beloved Master Kothumi, nourish the seeds planted in my consciousness so that the ideas entrusted to me become manifest flowers of perfect expression in my world and the world of all my fellow men. Beloved presence of God, I am. Pour the light of thy great glory upon my consciousness and nourish the seeds planted by the masters. We thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so there we are. Let's just take a moment, just a moment to just open our hearts and thank our beloved I presence and thank all the divine beings for these marvelous, marvelous teachings. Thank you and our opportunities we have. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to actually stop the um, recording.